Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Thanks God, it's time to read Bible. Today we will go through John twenty verse sixteen to eighteen. John twenty tells us Jesus resurrected on the early on the first day of the week. John's recording focus on Mary Magdalene. While it was still dark, she went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. She thought the Lord had been taken out of the tomb, so she came running to Peter and John. Then Peter and John reached the tomb and saw the str- the stripes, the stripes of linen. Laying there, and Jesus' burial cloth was folded up by itself, separate from the linen. They finally saw and believed that Jesus had res- has resurrected. Then Peter and John went back to their home, but Mary still stood outside the tomb crying. Because she did not understand Peter and John's explanation, explanation to her, Mary Magdalene had seven demons possessed on her. She was born low and not well educated. After Jesus' healing, she followed him. She might not understand the truth, and her mind might might not clear, but she loved Jesus. And the Lord knows it. When she saw the Lord had been taken away, she was very sad and crying, and not even wanted to leave. To leave the tomb, even the angels talked to her. She still was crying. Her heart was fulfilled by Jesus Christ. She won't leave the tomb if she could not see Jesus. Therefore, Jesus appeared to her, verse sixteen. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Hebrew. And in Hebrew, Rabbi, which means teacher. Jesus appeared to Mary by his voice because she was thinking. He was the gardener, so we could know Jesus took another flesh after he resurrected. But Mary still recognized him by his voice, and called him Rabbi. Jesus appeared to Mary was a big deal. Peter had denied Jesus three times, and he was very disappointed in himself. Jesus did not first appear to him. Also, Jesus was the one. Also, John was the one Jesus loved among his twelve disciples. But Jesus did not first appear to him. Moreover, when Mary, Jesus' mother, saw him was crucified on the cross, her heart was like the. Was like be pierced, but still Jesus did not first appear to her. Mary of Bethany always listened to Jesus preach, and she understood the truth, and even took an an expensive perfume poured on Jesus' feet to prepare Jesus' death. But still, Jesus did not appear to her in the beginning. However, Mary Magdalene loved the the loved the Lord so much, she only wanted to see the Lord and did not want to leave his tomb. Her heart touched the Lord, so he appeared to her. Verse seventeen, Jesus said, "Do not hold on, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father." Go instead to my brothers and tell them I am returning to my father and your father, to my God and your God. This verse is not easy to understand. There are many different interpretations. Until now, why God chose her to deliver the message? 
First, Jesus told her, "Do not hold on me. Why? Because I have not yet returned to the Father." General traditional conception of Jesus rising to heaven was recorded in Acts chapter one, verse nine. It was forty days after his resurrection. That is after Jesus resurrected. He stayed with his disciples for forty days, and then being taken up into heaven. In this period, he appeared to his disciples many times, and had close fellowship with them. But why he told Mary, "Do not have." Do not hold on me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Some interpreters explained, "Hold on me" in Greek is also means touch, hold on to, or clinging to. That is, Jesus did not did not want Mary to hold on him. I disagree with this、uh, interpretation because the same word also be used in Matthew eight, verse three. Jesus touched the man with the man, touched the man with leprosy. In addition, in Matthew nine, verse twenty one, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years. Touched the edge of Jesus' cloak. This word had been used thirty six times in the gospel books, but why Jesus told Mary, "Do not hold on me." It was in the early morning on the day Jesus was resurrected. He was very busy on that day. After he had appeared to Mary, he then appeared to Peter, which recorded in Luke twenty four, verse thirty four. Also, Luke twenty four, verse thirteen to thirteen to thirty one, recorded on the road to on the road to Emmaus. Jesus appeared to two of his disciples for a while until dinner. And until dinner time, they fin- finally recognized him. Next, John twenty verse nineteen and twenty, Jesus appeared to his disciples and showed them his hands and the side. In addition, Luke twenty four verse thirty six to forty two also recorded, especially in verse thirty nine, "Look at my hands and feet." It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. Jesus also asked them something to eat. They gave him a piece of fish, and he took it and ate it in their、uh, presence. Therefore, we know in his appearance to his disciples. In fact, they could touch him. But why he told Mary, "Do not hold me, do not hold on me." Actually, Jesus rose into heaven, into heaven two times. On the first day of the week, Jesus had a secret rising into heaven. And after forty days, he rose into heaven in front of the public. According to Leviticus twenty three, there is a better explanation for the secret rising into heaven. Leviticus twenty three tells us the Lord's appointed feasts. Verse five to fourteen tells us the regulations of offering on the Passover. Jesus came to earth as the Lamb of Passover to be crucified and. Be the ransom. So many regulations of offering are directed to Christ. However, John recorded the Son of Man to be glorified as a kernel of a kernel of wheat, not as the lamb, not as the lamb. John twelve verse twenty four. I tell you the truth: unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground. And dies, it remains only a single seed, 
But if it dies, it produces many seeds. In fact, the Passover is usually in March, and during the winter, is the is the raining season that are in November and December, and both months are the season for sowing. Then until March, the Passover would be the harvest season. Leviticus twenty three verse ten and eleven. Speak to the Israelites and say to them, "When you enter the land, I am going to give you, and you reap its harvest. Bring to, bring to the priest a sheaf of the first grain, your harvest. He is to wave the sheaf before the Lord, so it will be accepted on your behalf." The priest is to wave it on the day after the Sabbath. In fact, the offering on Passover not only the lambs but also bring a shift of the first grain to the Lord, and the priest is to wave it on the day after the Sabbath, which is also the Lord's day, the day He resurrected, with offering for shadows. Resurrection, which means after Jesus' resurrection, he became the first grain to offer to God as the wave offering. Therefore, after he resurrected, he had to go to the Father to glorify Him. However, Mary's compelling, compelling love to Jesus made him had no choice to appear to her first. Since Jesus had not yet returned to the Father, he told Mary, "Do not hold on, do not hold on to him." A sheaf of the first grain, as wave offering to be offered to God, which means Jesus Christ is not only the first fruits that first resurrected from the dead, but also some of saints in the Old Testament. Will be resurrected on the day with Jesus Christ, to become a sheaf of the first grain. Matthew twenty seven verse fifty two and fifty three also recorded, the tombs broke open and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tomb and after, and after Jesus' resurrection. They went into the holy city and appeared to many people. But where did the saints go after they were raised to lead to life? Matthew did not tell us. But from Leviticus twenty-three verse ten and eleven, foreshadows that they and Jesus together became a sheaf of the first grain to be offered to the Father. Next, Jesus told Mary, "Go instead to my brothers and tell them I am returning to my Father, and your Father, to my God and your God." Here was the first time Jesus called his disciples as brothers. Not only that, Jesus asked Mary to tell them, "My Father and your Father, my God and your God," that we could see Jesus' resurrection was a great birth. And his disciples became to his brothers as after he resurrected. Before Jesus called his disciples in Matthew fifteen verse fifteen, I lo I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything, for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. When Jesus was in the flesh with his disciples, he called them friends. But as he resurrected, he and his disciples had a life relationship. So his disciples became to his brothers. By his resurrection, the relationship of life was established. John nineteen verse twenty six and twenty seven. He said to his father, he said to his mother, "Dear woman, here is your son." 
and to John, here is your mother. So Mary became John's mother, and John became Mary's son, just like now in the church. The el the elders are our parents, and the youngers are our children, because we have a great birth, which was Jesus' resurrection. Romans eight verse twenty nine tells us, for those God for for foreknown, He also predestinated. To be conform conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among the many brothers. When did it happen? The moment of Jesus' resurrection. Before that, Jesus Christ is the only Son of God, but as He resurrected, we, God, we. God's predestined people became to Jesus brothers, and He became the firstborn. Hebrew chapter two verse ten to twelve has a further description. In in bringing many sons to glory, it was fitting that God, for whom and through whom everything exists, should make the author of their salvation. Perfect through suffering. Why Jesus? Why Jesus needed to be crucified to death, and then resurrected, because he is the author of the salvation through suffering. Both the one who makes men holy and those who are made holy are of the are of the same are of the same family. Jesus Christ is the one who makes the saints holy, and the saints were, and the saints are made holy. He makes us holy in His grace, and for us, those who are willing to receive His grace, could be holy, and we are of the same family, from the Father, because in His resurrection we all received. The inter the internal life that came from the Father, therefore Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers. Jesus calls us brothers. Is not we are stronger, or better than others, but only we have the same Father's life. When did Jesus call his disciples brothers? The moment he told. To Mary, go to my brothers and tell them I am returning to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Verse eighteen, Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. This was Mary's testimony. She was the first one seeing Jesus' resurrection. And even before Jesus secretly returned to the Father, Mark sixteen verse nine also testify Mary's testimony. When Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary, Mary Mag Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. So Mary Magdalene. Was the first one seeing Jesus, and she told them that he had said these things to her. However, Luke, Mark, and Matthew did not record verse seventeen like John, because its spiritual meaning is deep. So we might curious why God used Mary, who did not understand. Understand truth well and unclear mind to deliver the message. Apparently, when Mary had said, no one could understand. They only knew Jesus first appeared to Mary, but the message. Only John recorded it after sixty years, when he recorded. The book of John after Luke had completed. The book of Luke and the Acts, we also see the work of building up the church, has been started, in addition by Paul's, 
ministry. The Gentile Church has been established. After John left Jerusalem, he served at the Ephesians Church. Jesus' message through Mary had been brewing in John's mind for sixty years, but serving Jesus' mother Mary, John's spiritual life had grown. After all the disciples were murdered, God used John to complete the life ministry. Life originates from birth, and the spiritual birth is connected to Jesus' resurrection. Therefore, he recorded Jesus' resurrection and the message through Mary: "Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father." Go instead to my brothers and tell them I am returning to my father and your father to my God and your God, dear brothers and sisters. We have to treasure the Bible. It is the Holy Spirit speaking to us through John. The Holy Spirit is telling us the message of life, which connected to Jesus' resurrection. This truth. Is revealed to us by Mary Magdalene. Magdalene, who was not well educated, had an unclear mind and did not understand the truth, but had a compelling love to the Lord. So we might not understand the truth, but we will be able to experience in love. Let's pray. O、oh、Lord, please have mercy on us. In your death and the resurrection, you gave us grace. By experiencing the grace, it helps us to love you. You are the author of the salvation. You will bring us into the glory. In the process, you call us brothers. Please help us to keep raising the banner of love on the path to. Sanctification. Let us keep loving. Let us keep loving you and willing to serve you. Please bless my life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.